Hey, welcome to the Fun Time Travel Update. So normally, uh, today we post uh, news and updates and whatnot about cruising, but today we're going to talk about tipping because it's been in the news, it's been all over the socials, it's been in Cruise Critic, and I mean just... People are always talking about it regardless. Pe yeah, <laughs> it's but... It's really a big thing right now. It's really been a big deal, and it's probably because... Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, shared some details about uh, how the gratuities are paid out and whatnot on his Facebook page. So, uh, well, that inspired us to talk about it today. So, let's check it out. The prepaid or automatic gratuities are always a hot topic of conversation, <laughs> seriously. Some people feel that they should be eliminated, others feel they should be changed and added as an additional fee to your cruise price. You know, others say that the gratuities are fine, but you shouldn't pay them in advance, that it would be better to go back to how they used to do things, which is leaving envelopes in the cabin yeah. at the end of the cruise. So Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, shared these details uh, on how the automatic gratuities are split up between the crew members at Carnival. And to be honest with you, we suspect that this is how it's done on most cruise lines. Now he said, the gratuities are in place to say thank you to your stateroom attendant, the waiters in the dining room, and the waiters and behind the scenes staff on Lido. We've read in the past that it can also go towards other behind the scenes staff and that it contributes towards a shared crew incidentals emergency fund. Now the emergency fund may be to help crew members fly home if there's like a family emergency or something. I really hope that's how it works. I think that's hopefully. What, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've read that on Norwegian table bussers and maitre d's also get a portion of the gratuities. You know, we assume that other cruise lines, again, work in a similar fashion. John Heald's uh, comments were in response to a couple of different questions on his Facebook page. If you're a Carnival fan, you should subscribe to John's uh, Facebook page, especially if you have questions, because to be honest with you, he is so good about responding to questions. Yeah. And I, I don't know how the guy does it. Uh, you like him <laughs> or dislike him. I, I don't know many people that work as hard as he does and uh, seems to take so much grief. But uh, that's another comment altogether. One person wanted to know how the gratuities went to their server because they had your time dining, which meant they, you know, they had a didn't have a set dining time. And so, therefore, they had a different server each night. And they wanted to make sure that their servers got their gratuities. Fair question. Uh, and the other person felt that they didn't want, uh, they really didn't want to pay gratuities because, well, they just slept in their ba their room, took a shower in their room, and then they ate at the, the Lido Marketplace uh, buffet every night for every meal, and they just didn't feel like they should have to tip a server. Yeah. We love that the Lido staff gets a portion of the gratuities since they work so hard. They really do. You know, and John also shared that the portion of your gratuities that goes to the Your Time Dining staff gets pooled amongst all of the servers and they split it. You know, and the same goes for the Lido staff. Hey, while we're here, would you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future updates. We've got some, um, some cruise uh, drink package videos coming up for... Uh, Princess Cruise Lines we're working on, and uh, if you're a fan of Princess, well, you're going to want to see them. Okay, so let's break down how these gratuities uh, kind of get shared. Now, the portion of your gratuities that go to your stateroom attendant or to your server in the main dining room, those go directly to the person who took care of you. And then there were some questions on, on John Heald's Facebook page about... Uh, uh, supposedly there's rumors that there's this list out there that the servers and the stateroom attendants, uh, it's been rumored for years that, that there's a, a list that they know who uh, has not done the prepaid oh, gratuities, yeah. they know who's done prepaid gratuities, and they know who's had their gratuities removed. And uh, according to John Heald, and to be honest with you, this makes perfect sense to me, um, the only way they would know if you removed your gratuities would be if you told them. Yeah. So if you're worried that you're going to get poor service because you've chosen to remove your gratuities, maybe we shouldn't tell you this, but as long as you don't tell them, they don't know. The only way they know um, that, uh, you know, they know how many people they've taken care of and how many tables they've done or how many cabins they've taken right. care of. And so the only way they might be able to tell that anyone removed their gratuities is after the cruise, when they look, they get a, a well, you know, a paycheck with the gratuities included and they'll know that, say, they took care of 20 cabins and they only got tips from 18. Well, then they'll know that they 
uh, the, but there's no tie to you directly. Right. They don't know anybody's names or anything. Right. In addition to that, Mr. Heald also shared a bit of information about cash tips. Now, if you give a cash tip to your waiter, you know, that stays, that stays with them. Or they can share it with an assistant waiter, but again, they keep it. Right. You know, the same goes for your stateroom attendant. And, you know, those stateroom tenants a lot of times have an assistant that's helping them. So I would yeah. I would suppose that the stateroom attendant would probably, you know, split tips with the yeah. person that's helping them. But, uh, you know, when we've cruised, oftentimes, if our stateroom attendant has an assistant, we'll give our stateroom attendant a little bit. And we'll give our, you know, the assistant a little bit, too, if we can find them. I can't them. remember if it was our last cruise that we just went on or the one before that. But I remember our waiter and the assistant waiter were so close and they mm -hmm. were so good and he when we gave him a cash tip the head waiter he said i'll make sure that the assistant yeah. gets some of this yeah. too. i think they try to take care of each other so why are we sharing this information here if it's out there on facebook well it was shared across several posts and we tried to aggregate it together in one place uh, for anyone who didn't see it or hasn't been following the thread uh, we know that the gratuities can add a few hundred dollars to the cost of a cruise but those gratuities go to help support a lot of people that we don't see on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, having talked to some of our crew members most of that money ends up going uh, back home to take care of extended family and you know yeah. children and uh, we just think it's a, a, an investment that's well placed those people working behind the scenes are a key reason why our cruises are so enjoyable i mean they really are that's one reason why we won't remove our gratuities and since we're going to pay them anyway we love that we can prepay them so that we can budget it into our vacation. It's not just, you know, a surprise. <laughs> right. Now, we, we typically tip a little extra to our stateroom attendant and the dining room waiter. and uh, Sometimes our favorite bartender. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the one thing we will say, uh, in, in defense of people who have, have made some complaints about the gratuities, uh, we have to say that as the cruise lines continue to raise the standard gratuity rates, yeah. it really has kind of cut into how much extra we tip. You yeah. know, we're not being um, uh, misers about it, but, no. you know, we have a certain budget for our cruise, as I'm sure you do. And as it starts, these, these raised gratuities start bumping up against our expendable money uh, then our, our extra tip has, has kind of shrunk a little bit. Yeah. But uh, that's a subject for another day. <laughs> We're cur curious as to what you think about the gratuities. You know, were you aware that tips went to the behind-the-scenes workers? Do you typically tip extra, or um, have you had them remove your gratuities? And okay. we'd love to know why. You know, there may yeah. be cases where maybe the service was substandard, and you felt the need to remove your gratuities. We, we'd love to hear why, but yeah. uh, tell us in the comments below. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.